It is said, when you can't travel, let a book transport you. A place of learning, now resembling a construction site. Damaged ceilings and flooded floors. The community moved in to salvage whatever they can when the news of the vandalism broke. They now lament the loss of an important resource. This is a very sad situation when I put on. And I'm not feeling happy about it. It's going to cost us a lot. And it's going to affect the future of our children. Because our children were only depending on this library. Because it's the only library that we have around Motherwell. And us as uh, elders of this community, we're also depending on this, uh, on this library for information. I'm very, very disappointed uh, about what, is, what has been happened here in this library. Uh, because uh, this library is not only for this ward, it's for the whole mother world. All our kids are, 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 are belonging here in this library. So uh, we are very, very disappointed. The council took a resolution in 2018 to drastically reduce the number of security personnel from 2,400 to just more than 600. During the lockdown, it was not just libraries that were targeted by thieves and vandals, but also a number of municipal amenities. The security department, uh, that is a directorate under MMC Tron, are driving a plan. But as well as the department, what you are saying is that it is high time now that uh, the municipality and the community to have a social contract whereby the, 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 the community must have an ownership of the libraries or, or, or all the facilities as they are the users. The Motherwell Library was open to the public 20 years ago. Now it is unclear when the damage will be repaired and the facility will be reopened to the public. Sabi Sislengile, SABC News in Quebec.